I recently discovered the wondrous powers of Novel AI, an AI writing program that can take any prompt and create a story from it. Most of the time, the stories don't really make a whole lot of sense. Occasionally, it'll take your stupid world-building idea and turn it into an entire dystopian geopolitical structure. Or it can take that cool superhero story you wrote in third grade and give you a blueprint for the next Sky High movie. Anything could happen. So I decided to take the intro from John Boyce's Kudai Sung video and give it to the AI just to see how it went. And, uh, it certainly went. I want to tell y'all about Ku Dai Sung. Ku Dai Sung was a relief pitcher for the Mets in 2005. It was his only season in Major League Baseball. He never threw a no-hitter, and he never appeared in the postseason. He was just a pretty decent reliever whose career in American baseball was honestly kind of forgettable. One exception, May 21st, 2005. Mets versus Astros at Shea Stadium. The game went into extra innings, and while it wasn't anything close to a classic, the Astros had a 3-2 lead heading into the top of the 11. The Mets were down to their final out as they sent up pinch hitter Moises Alu, who promptly hit a single off Houston closer Brad Lidge to score two runs and tie the game, sending it to the 12th. That's when Ku Dai Sung entered the game. In short order, he gave up a double, then three straight singles, two of which scored runs. The Mets lost 5-3, to three, and it was all over. But the shouting. The next day, Kudai Sung was on his way back to Korea, where he'd been signed by the Samsung Lions that winter. The team flew him home from JFK Airport, and they put him up in one of those extended stay hotels near LaGuardia. Ku got settled in made some calls, and started getting ready for his first night in New York City since he left high school. When he woke up the following morning, he showered and headed to the kitchenette in his room. He opened the fridge and saw a couple bottles of water and a note that said, have a good trip day. He stared at the note for a moment, then reached under the counter and grabbed the bottle of water. He drank it all down in a few gulps, then pulled out another one and did the same thing, then another. And then he went outside, looked around and thought, you know what, I'm thirsty. So he walked into the lobby, found a phone, called a cab, and asked the dispatcher to take him to a nearby 7-Eleven. In the store, he bought five Cokes and three bags of chips. Once he got back to his room, he opened a bag of potato chips, took out the salt packet, poured the contents onto the floor, and began munching away. He was sitting there eating chips and drinking Coke when he heard someone shout, hey, hey, hey. Hey! And so he turned around, and there was this big black guy with a huge afro standing right behind him. The guy was wearing khakis and a sport coat, and carrying a clipboard. What are you doing? The man demanded. Ku didn't say anything. He just kept eating his potato chips. Are you eating my snacks? The guy yelled. Still, Ku wouldn't respond. He just kept chewing. Then the guy stood over Ku and kicked the door open. He came inside and grabbed Ku by the arm, yanking him to his feet. Hey! 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 He screamed again. Ku kept eating. You stealing these snacks, you little Korean bastard? The man shouted. But still, Ku said nothing. Let go of me, Ku told the guy. The man let go, and Ku continued eating. The man stomped across the room, picked up the empty salt packet, and threw it at Ku. It bounced off his chest and fell to the floor. When he was done, Ku tossed the empty bag and the empty soda can into the garbage, then picked up the remaining chips and Cokes and threw them in too. The man was still standing there, looking pissed. Hey! 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 He said. You throwing stuff in my garbage? Ku shrugged. You gonna pay for that? The man said. No, Ku replied. You throwing it in your own garbage. 
The man shook his head and stormed out the room. A minute later, he returned, grabbed Ku by the shoulder, and dragged him outside. He pointed toward a trash can across the street and said, Get in there. Ku followed orders. The man threw the trash can's lid on top of Ku, then stepped back and watched him. Ku stayed silent. He remained motionless, like he was dead. After about 15 minutes, the man finally left. A few minutes after that, an NYPD police officer showed up and helped Ku get out of the garbage can. Ku thanked her. She drove him back to his hotel. After dropping him off, the cop offered to give him a lift home, but he declined. She wished him well and left.